the sample is dry. So the sample that was washed on the sieve 0 0.475 and the sample that was washed on the sieve 0 0.75 millimeter. Because the sample, the specimen are still hot. We are going to wait average of 30 minutes in order for the, for the sample to cool down. After the specimen have cooled down, we are going to weight the specimen. We are going to record the weight of the sample that was washed and returned on the sieve 4.75. The same is done for the sieve that was washed and returned on the sieve 0 0.075 millimeter. So the balance needs to be to have an accurate that can read up to 0 0.1 gram. So after recording the weight of the dry specimen that have been washed and dry over, um, overnight, the next step will be to sieve uh, the materials using the shakers. These sieves must be very clean. So before putting the material in the sieves, we are going first to clean all the sieves. What we are going to do now, the next step will be to shake these sieves for a period of at least 10 minutes. The standard says between 10 and 20 minutes. Okay. So after at least 10 minutes, the next step will be to record the mass of each of the particles that have been retained on each sieve. The sieves start from the bigger size above and below are the smaller. So the particles are transferred, the mass are recorded. <laughs> we are recording cumulative mass. So
after recording the sieves that are retained on each uh, sieves for granular or bigger size material, the sieve that pass the two millimeter will be added to the sieve that was washed on 0 0.075 millimeter. This specimen are passing the two millimeter. So we are going to combine with the sieve that passed the two millimeter but was um, uh, in a granular specimen. We are going to combine them and now do um, the sieve using the small size. The procedure also is the same. Make sure that the sieves are clean in order to not um, have inaccuracy during uh, the test results. So the sieves that pass um, into two millimeters for the bigger size or bigger granular specimen are combined. Are combined with the smaller. This um, specimen were washed on the sieve 0 0.075 millimeter and dry. So we are going to check uh, for the period of, again, the period at least 10 minutes, between 10 and 20 minutes. After checking at least 10 minutes, we are going to weight the material or the particles Make sure that all the material are transferred to the can. We are going to wait uh, what we call cumulative weight. So after recording all um, the weights on a cumulative returning, the next step will be to make a report of uh, uh, the sieve analysis. We can use either an Excel, and the Excel is comprises of the sieve size from 31.5 millimeter up to 0 0.075 millimeter. We record the partial return on each sieves, what we, 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 we weighted using uh, the, the balance.
after finishing um, recording, we record the weights on a cumulative retain. Then the next step is to know the cumulative percentage retain on each uh, sieve. Then the following column is the cumulative percentage passing on each sieve. After recording, the next thing is to put the client's name, then the name of the project, the project location, the sample description, dates of sampling, the standard methods used to do the particle sieve distribution, Then uh, the last is um, the dates of testing. So we have the, the grading size. We have the graph that has axis, the sieves in the logarithmic units, then in uh, the other side, we have the percentage passing on each sieve. So based on the sieve, the particle sieve distribution, we can analyze the soil and classify the soil using the, um, either the unit um, soil classification or other methods that are used to classify the soil and to know if the soil is um, sand, granular, is, if it's well graded or uh, poorly graded.